boxing. And this is the international welterweight title fight between Peter Malinga and Hugh Davy. Now, earlier on this week, when the British boxer was asked for his clearance papers and his license, unfortunately, he had it taken off him by a pickpocket. Let's join Nick Collis now, who's got Bert Blewett and Sam Unkwanazi with him. Good afternoon and welcome to the Durban City Hall, where we're sitting ringside now for Peter Malinga's second international fight. Peter Malinga, the welterweight, of course, who caused such a sensation when, on, when he knocked out a very uh, promising other welterweight from Natal, Eric Nkamalo, about 18 months ago. Since then, Nkamalo has uh, had himself a fight in Venda. He won that one, and once again, he has an international fight again this afternoon, Bert. Yes, this is a great opportunity for Peter Malinga. He's up against Hugh Davey of Great Britain, uh, a fairly run-of-the-mill British boxer, but a man who will test Malinga, who needs this international exposure and experience. And if Malinga comes through this one, obviously he's going to fight better and better opponents as we go. But this is a great opportunity for him, Sam. Esquazio Oguti Lompana Ozopegana Nomalinga Namsanje O Davy. Agagaze a alashwe a pansi. Gagulu Nusangoti Siamaz Lapana O Peter Amalinga Oguti Ana Projosa in knockout Uzos Zombili is under Zaikev. Uzos Bonelagas is said Devon City Hall. Well, here's our first look then this afternoon at the T. Slow in his last international contest. And he was manhandled by a very physically strong Argentinian fighter by the name of Verano in the opening round. But Malinga kept his composure beautifully, put together the punches in the third round, and stopped his man. He does have power in this right hand, does Peter Malinga. Yes, well, obviously he's going to uh, gain confidence as he goes, Nick. And this is why I think this fight is so important for him. Uh, that Arana fight was his first international. This is his second. If he keeps winning, he's going to start believing more and more in himself. And I think it's very important. Absolutely. Plus, it's creating the awareness with the South African public, which is so important as well. He's getting to be seen quite a lot now on television. It's Peter Malinga. So he's got a job to do this afternoon against Hugh Davey. Davey flashing out that right hand, not really landing, falling short. Both men are probing with the left, the left hand on round one. Waiting to unleash the right. I think it does appear to have an edge in punching power into this fight. Malinga, who this is Kamoso, Zu, this one, who is Puna Ogum Testa Lapana, who Dave Guti, Ama Galelo, Watata, Ukene, Gangagana. You notice Malinga using a flick of the head. The slip punches, very good reflexes, and the, that's clever defensive work on his part. Certainly become a lot more economical as a boxer after the Incomalo fight, where he was put down twice. I remember him being a little more all action in those days. These days he picks his uh, punches a lot more carefully, doesn't leave the same sort of openings for counter punching that he used to sign of his growing maturity that was a left hook that landed from malinga and davy backed off and a left jab coming in well it's good to see that malinga's cutting off the ring on david he's not following him he's actually cutting off the ring not many fighters can do that Thomas Labani working the corner for Peter Malinga this afternoon. Good atmosphere here at the Durban City Hall. And I tell you, Hugh Davey has got a crowd of well-wishers 
get tucked away in the uh, side here. Well, the pace of the fight just picking up slightly now as Malinga, growing in confidence, starts to put the combinations together. Davy trapped momentarily in the neutral corner above us. Malinga beginning to double up on that jab. He holds his left hand low, you notice, but he brings it up very quickly indeed. They're using that uh, to make openings for the right hand. Well, Davey coming forward, but walking into quite a few punches, too. There's Malingo hooking and uppercutting on the inside with the right hand in particular. Malinga <laughs> to South Africa, Hugh Davy has never been on the canvas, so we are told. Well, then that's a first for him, Sam. And uh, I don't think it's going to be the last either. Malinga looks in a rampant mood now this afternoon. Replay from the second round, the knockdown, right flash on the button, and down goes Hugh Davy. First time we understand that the British boxer has been on the campus in his career. Well, that right hand would have got Davy's attention, that's for sure. He knows now that Malinga can really bang. see the confidence oozing from the end of the uh, third round. Seems to have the edge in hand speed as well, which is making life very difficult for Davy. with that attempt to do damage in the corner. See, Davey's almost falling in when he punches with that right hand. Malingo allowing Davey to lead and then he counters. Well, 
A very stiff jab thrown by Peter Malinga in this round. Davy comes back with an uppercut and Malinga returns the compliment. And a left hook goes in from Malinga. Malinga really beginning to put lots of power in his punches. Visibly hurting the British boxer. If you Davy or Sabin Sasaka, I can call a ring lapana. Yamsi Zaloko, Boba Gwens Wutige, O Peter Malinga, Hanyens, O Matanda. But I can now call upon now, we can't talk about the call upon now, O Peter, in the ring. We have Shegelela. in the replay Davies had a difficult time trying to avoid those left jabs from Malinga and uh, invariably working from the outside he was forced onto the back foot time and again Malinga has taken over complete control of this fight okay yeah, Pullman. and Malinga jab too is a, it's a stiff punch it's not just thrown with uh, no intention behind it at all it's thrown with a lot of intention as our American friends would say with bad intentions bad intentions mean intentions Scheduled for 10 then, international welterweight contest. Hugh Davey already on the canvas early in the fight. Did well to get up though and survive that right hand from Malinga. Again, there's that stiff jab, just thrusting Davey back onto the ropes. As Malinga invariably, invariably beats uh, Davy to the punch. He's got very good hand speed. And the moment the British boxer starts to unleash, uh, Malinga lets his punches go. That was very noticeable with the knockdown. Uh, they both drew back to throw their right hands, and Malinga's landed first, no question. <laughs> he's got the edge there, and he's also got the edge in punching power. Davy, though, like a lot of British boxers, looks very durable. Has to be to survive these punches. Well, he's never been knocked out, and uh, of course, uh, for him, the uh, first, the first time he was put on the canvas here this afternoon. That happened in round two. That means the first time Nigel Ben on his back went down as well. Yes, I don't think Nigel would have appreciated that. <laughs> The fight is following a similar pattern. Davy moving. When Malinga gets him trapped on the ropes, that right hand looks very dangerous. And the left hook coming in now as well. Davy looking very uncomfortable here. And the uppercut inside. Good variety of punches thrown by Malinga. Kebo o left ga a Davy o counter ga tega kula pana o Malinga. Gespagele spana yo o complementa o right go right. back to that Unkamalo fight here in Durban. That really was the uh, make or break fight for Malinga because if Unkamalo had won that fight, it could well have been Unkamalo in the ring this afternoon. Just opened up so many doors for it. Yes, it was a turning point for Peter Malinga, the fight with Eric Kamala. Came off the canvas to win that. He's uh, giving uh, Davy a torrid time here this afternoon. Davy comes from the north of England. They bring them big and strong up there and uh, we can see the that in the ring. And uh, Davy comes from the north of England and they breed them big and strong up in that area. 
when it comes to boxing. And uh, he's just come off of a loss by half a point to Brian Roach. That was uh, less than a month oh, well, ago. That's, uh, that's what you know about. That's a bit quality. Well, Davey had perhaps his best moments in the fight at the bell to end round four when he had Malinga backed against the ropes. Well, Malinga has already established a comfortable points lead on my card at any rate. Well, when you throw in the knockdown, very comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> Davey keeps walking into that strip left jab of Malinga. He's making life very difficult for him. And keeping them off balance too. Right hand bounces off the top of Davey's head. Not quite landing cleanly. Well, to his credit, David keeps, uh, Davey keeps trying to uh, pump out that left jab of his. But because Malinka has the edge in hand speed, more often than not, beats him to the punch. A couple of good punches from Davey, but he lacks the firepower that Malinka has, and that's also a big difference. Well, Malinka's just lost his mouthpiece. Don't read too much into that. Davey coming back, though, with some useful punches, having a better round. Malinga, big right hand goes in, drives Davey back into the neutral corner. Oh, big right hand by Davey, too. Nice punch coming out of the corner. This boy is tough, and uh, Malinga will do well not to underestimate him. I'm sure that's not the case. That corner well did Davy with that right hand. And a left hook going in from the British fighter. Well, this has been a good round for Davy, probably his best uh, so far in the fight. Decided to trade with Malinga, and he's looking so much better for it. Dave <laughs> that your way he's tired as well son not just one way come on try to keep left and right hit the board hit the board yeah boy corner liga a debut Mangitiga <laughs> Well, I thought Davey had a very good round five, and uh, I think it'll be interesting to see whether he can carry that into round six. His corner is calling for some quality shots, and uh, I don't think he disappointed them in round five. Well, Malinga is surprisingly quiet at the moment. I wonder if he's not just a little wary now throwing that right hand and being caught with a counter after the uh, fifth round where Davey definitely landed some good counter punches. Yes, it may well be the British boxer, boxer has uh, gained the respect of Malinga. Thank you. 
Well, as often happens, this is a much quieter round, although Davey just unloaded a useful right to Malinka's head. Malinka hasn't had the chance to, re well, he did retaliate there, but I think it was a glancing blow. Oh, good left hook, ripping shot from Malinga. Malinga now getting the hands a lot more busy as the round progresses. measuring Davy with that left and then loading the right. Davy is obviously in decent physical condition. He's been forced to move a lot in this fight. A lot of movement from Davy. Oh, big right hand in the neutral in the corner of Malinga. Davy took it well though. What's that saying about British Steel? Yes, he's got a very good chin as you Davy. Oh, big uppercut coming, and I think Davey very lucky to hear that bell go there. He was in some trouble in the corner. A right hand forced him into the corner, and then the uppercut came in. that hurt Davey just before the bell at the end of round six. A replay from a different angle. Lincoln measuring him with the left. Going over the top with the right. So Malinga reasserting himself in the six after Davey perhaps won the fifth. Oh, and he's a stiff left jab again. What a damaging punch that has been this afternoon. Yebo <laughs> Well, this has been a fine exhibition of boxing by Peter Malinga this afternoon. Uh, day before his fight has been outgunned uh, by Malinga. And uh, most of the time, he just has been able to match the South African's hand speed. All boxing skills, I think, Bert, by and large. Yes, pretty much so. This is the exciting thing about Peter Malinga these days. He's a very economical boxer. He's, he's schooled himself. He's disciplined. Punch. Yes, and I think a lot of the credit has to go to Norman Slavani, his trainer. He's brought to Malinga along very nicely indeed. And that might have resulted in, in the fight with uh, Eric Momalo because uh, uh, both the, the fighters, the defense was non existent. That's yes. why they kept uh, knocking one another down. Yes, you're right, Sam. Uh, that fight was clearly a turning point in uh, Peter Malinga's career. Trade again. He has been outgunned for most of the fight by Malinga, but this is probably his only chance to turn this fight around. Malinga, though, has got a useful uppercut inside, and it's going to work at the moment. Yes, every now and then you see Davies' head uh, bobbing backwards, and that's from the uppercut, the effects of an uppercut on the inside.
بودین من خیلی بودین خوب نه شهر بودین Round eight coming up, and uh, between rounds, uh, Davies Corner asked him, "Did he want to continue?" And he said he wants to. Very brave young man. Yeah, I think you've got to pay tribute to uh, Davies willingness to make a fight of this he's taken quite a bit of stick from Malinga there's been no sign of quit in him at all and at times he's taken the fight to Malinga yes there's been a lot of vocal support for him as uh, we pointed out earlier he's got a lot of supporters in the crowd a good crowd here this afternoon at Durban City Hall he's got the Sunderland Football Club out in the corners yeah a couple of football shirts Sunderland Football shirts yes. they have certainly been on song haven't they Absolutely. Well, fighters just briefly talking to each other. Davey calling Malinga in. Malinga needs no invitation. jab too has been a big difference between the fighters Malinga's is stiff and accurate and it's kept Davy off balance for so much of this fight well the way in which uh, Peter Malinga throws the left jab it should be a lesson for all boxers watching this afternoon puts his shoulder behind it it's not just a push it's a solid punch Snaps it out with bad intentions. Well, there was an air of desperation about Davy in the corner there as he threw that right hand to try and get out of the corner. One big shot there, my goal, and you way. You can spread it out of the way you're going to stay in it, son. But don't get yourself. Round nine of the scheduled 10 rounder international welterweight contest. It's become a little one sided in the last couple of rounds. Peter Malinga just has the edge in class, and it's up to uh, Hugh Davy really. To just get lucky with a punch, that's the only chance he has of coming back into this fight. But he's a game fighter. He's the fighter from, uh, from England, Hugh Davy. And this has been just the kind of workout Peter Malinga needs. Davy being put down on the canvas once in the fight. Uh, 
Lapana, I've got one criticism of Malinga, perhaps that he's been a little head happy in this fight. If he punched the body a little more, he might have slowed down Davy, taking the legs away from him a little bit. Yes, and uh, I thought that Davy was badly hurt from that body shot uh, at the end of the eighth round. That's the impression I had, and I'm surprised that Malinga hasn't gone to the body here uh, in the ninth. He's head hunting yet again. But he's landing, and that left hook getting home. But Davy takes these headshots exceptionally well. Malinga might find the body uh, a far better target for, for more reasons than one. Also, one thing that has kept Davy in the fight is his ability to move around the ring. And... Yes, Malinga could have taken away his legs. It could have uh, made a big difference to how this fight would have developed. I think Malinga has paced himself so well in this fight, he's got a lot left in this 10th and final round. I think he could fight another 10 rounds at the way he's, the way he's going at the moment. I would like to see a bit more variety in what he does. Uh, he's uh, been headhunting the last few rounds, neglected the body. And whilst he's established a substantial points lead, had he switched his attack to the body, he may have won, in, he may have won inside the distance. But he has managed to put a man on the canvas who'd never been there before. Oh yeah, that's quite an achievement on his part. And he's a young fighter still learning, so this is part of the uh, learning process. And he's done very well this afternoon. That knockdown happening very early in the fight. It was a right hand. Peter 
Peter, Peter, Peter. That's the cry ringside. Peter Malinga. Working his way now through to what looks like a points decision. A very comfortable one too. Right hand bouncing off the top of Davy's head. And Davy on a bicycle as he has been for much of this fight. I'll give Davy credit though. It hasn't been negative running. You know what I mean. It's been positive running. He's had to run to avoid punishment. But he's always tried to get back into the fight as he does now. He's just been outgunned and outclassed. Crunching right hand at the bell. Oh, he's getting up. That's good to see. That looked, that looked a bit ugly for a moment. And uh, the ring uh, doctor is in the ring with him. He has some replay. Let's just see what happened. There it is. A crunching right hand. And that look what it did to Davey. A man who'd taken so many of those shots throughout this fight suddenly couldn't take one more. Well, the knockouts coming late in a fight are so often the dangerous ones, aren't they, Bert? Yes, indeed. Strange enough, uh, uh, before he went into this uh, round, his corner said, all what you have to do now, don't get knocked out. That's right, they were conceding that he lost the fight. Just just stay on your feet. Okay, put them off, Bill. All right. Welcome back and Peter Malinga sensational in that 10th and final round a crunching right hand at the bell depositing uh, Hugh Davey on the canvas for the second time in this bout. So, the second time in his career only that he'd been put down. Wasn't able to stand up to Malinga's punching power and his variety and his, uh, his the way in which he picked his punches. Great, great performance by Peter Malinga. Bert Blurt is in the ring and Bert Blurt will have an interview with Peter. surrounded by well wishes at the moment amongst them of course his trainer and uh, promoter will Tina straight in but Bert has find his way to Peter now right we uh, on camera Peter Malinga that was a great victory for you who would you like to fight next uh, I'll be happy if I can fight Ger if I can fight Ger Maru. I'll be happy you I'll want to happy. fight him for the WBU world title uh, 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 yeah I want to fight for, for him uh, for a uh, WPU. What about the national title? Uh, uh, Kakaza is a champion. You'd rather fight Murray than Kakaza? No, well, that depends to, uh, to my trainer. Then I can be happy to if I, I can fight Kakaza. Then it depends to my trainer. No, you, you, uh, you knocked him, well, appeared to knock him out right on the bell. Did that surprise you? Yeah, then it surprised me because I, I was going wild. Then my, uh, my trainer told me I must be cool. Then, that time I boxed him, then I just hit the dad right. Well, we have the, uh, the commissioner from the WBU, the, uh, the supervisor. Uh, Peter Malinga would like to fight Gary Murray for his WBU world title. What have you got to say about that? Well, but, uh, you know, that's not up to the commission, but I do believe it will be a good fight, and that's up to the promoters and uh, to the highest bidder. If Peter Malinga's cap lodged a challenge, would you recommend it? If Peter Malinga's camp a challenge, would I recommend it? Uh, I think that the Natal Commission would recommend it, yes. But as, as the uh, representative of WBU, would you recommend it? As the representative? Well, um, yes, I would have to consider it. Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations, Peter, and uh, best of luck with the rest of your career. Okay, I'd like to thank my, my mom there at home. I'd like to say hi, even my, and my younger brothers there. I think, I think, Peter, you've got to honestly say that your opponent fought his heart out. 
and uh, he was good for you. Okay, back to Rick. Nick Collis at ringside. Thanks very much. So Peter Malinga, very impressive this afternoon. Yes, indeed. I know the public would like to see Murray and Malinga in the ring. Who knows? Perhaps that fight could be made down the line. We're going back to Johannesburg, and then I believe back with some more boxing. Welcome back, and in all the excitement, actually, with the uh, knockdown at the bell, we didn't get the decision, of course, because it did go to points, you see. Uh, the uh, fighter was saved by the bell. No uh, guessing who the uh, winner was, of course. Very emphatic win there for uh, Peter Malinga. Great win for him.